Hello everyone, welcome to Zoho Contracts. In this video, I will give you a quick overview of Zoho Contracts and its key features. The page that you see on my screen is the home page that you will be taken to when you log into contracts.zoho.com. In this overview, I will first show how you can streamline your contract lifecycle with Zoho Contracts, and then cover how Zoho Contracts can help mitigate contract risks and improve governance. Let's start with contract creation and authoring. The Contracts module is a central repository that lists all the contracts across your business in a single place. To create a new contract, click New Contract at the top. Now, you need to select a contract type. A contract type in Zoho Contracts is a mould that defines the primary attributes of a contract, such as the contract intent, the contract document template, and the approval workflow that needs to be associated. Zoho Contracts comes with 14 predefined contract types along with the contract templates. You can also create your own custom contract types. For example, this statement of work is a contract type that I created. Choose your desired contract type from the window. You'll then be directed to the new contract form. After entering the other values like the title, counterparty name, contract effective date, contract end date and other necessary details, click save and continue. At this point, Zoho Contracts will automatically generate a contract document based on the contract template that you've created for the contract type. You just have to fill few document fields and make any required changes to suit the current engagement. You can fill fields by clicking the field and entering the value. The document editor in the Zoho Contracts offers a wide range of formatting options. It also has advanced document assembly capabilities. In the auto-generated document, the default languages of all the clauses in the contract type template will be displayed. You can then go onto the Clauses tab and remove the clauses that you do not need in the agreement and choose a suitable language from the list of languages under each clause using the document assembly feature. You can also co-author as well as review the contract with other members of your organisation in real time by sharing the contract with them. I quickly switch tabs and show how this looks to the collaborator. Collaborators can add contextual comments in the contract document and set visibility to everyone, my organisation member or contract owner. The contract owner can make changes and resolve the comments. After completing the contract draft, click Draft Complete and submit the contract for approval. In Zoho Contracts, admins can create approval workflows, both sequential and parallel, and associate them to contracts types. The contracts of those contract types will follow the associated approval workflow as part of the approval process. You can view the approval workflow associated with the contract under the Approval tab. The Activity section displays the progress of the contract document in the approval stage with the respective timestamps. In this particular contract, both the approvers have received the email and Anna has already approved the contract. I quickly switch tabs and show how this looks to the approver. The approver can view the contracts pending their approval, either from the To Approve widget on the dashboard or from the Activities module under Pending Approvals. They can approve or reject a contract along with their comments. Once the contract is approved, you can send the contract for negotiation. Conventionally, a contract is sent for negotiation as email attachments back and forth. However, this process becomes difficult to track when there are multiple rounds of negotiation and when you need to compare the document versions. 
In Zoho contracts, you can provide the counterparty's controlled access to your contract document via password-protected links. The counterparty contacts will receive an email with the link and can view the contract document by clicking the link in the email and entering the password. Counterparty contacts can collaborate in real time to suggest edits to the contract document, add comments and set visibility for them. Once the review is complete, the counterparty primary contact can finish the review with or without checking the proceed for signature checkbox. Checking or unchecking the checkbox indicates that the counterparty primary contacts consent to initiating the signing process. The contract owner immediately receives a review summary with all the information regarding the review cycle. You can accept or reject the changes that were suggested by the counterparty during negotiation with just a click by editing the document. You can also reply to or resolve the comments received from the counterparty. Once the negotiation is over, you can send the contract for signature after marking it as negotiated. When there are multiple rounds of negotiation, the counterparty contacts can compare the changes between the document versions from the previous negotiation cycles. The contract owner can view the previous cycles, the review summary for each cycle, and the document version that was sent for the respective cycle. Apart from your organisation and the counterparty members, you have the option to include other representatives to sign the contract document. Other representatives can be any individuals or entities that you can choose to include as signatories or witnesses, as required by the agreement or for additional assurance. You can also set a signing order that pans across these signer groups. Zoho Sign is tightly integrated with Zoho contracts at this stage. When you click Send for Signature, you will be redirected to the Zoho Sign UI, where you can add the signature fields by simply dragging and dropping them where you need in the document and click Send. The signers will receive an email with the link to sign and can sign the contract in less than a minute. After the contract is signed by all the parties, the contract will become active based on the value that you have set at the time of contract creation. Once the contract becomes active, you can find the signed contract document in the Agreement History section. Click the document link to open it. You will also find the e-signature certificate from Zoho Sign. Zoho Contracts also supports the post-execution management of contracts, such as amendments, renewals, extensions and termination. I'll quickly explain how contract letter templates and the related automation capabilities in Zoho Contracts make these stages completely effortless for you. When you amend the contract by making modifications to the existing contract, an amendment letter will be automatically generated. It captures the complete history of the contract in the Whereas clause and the current changes in the Now Therefore clause. This feature significantly reduces the manual effort needed and is also available for renewals, extensions and termination. Now, I'll dive into how Zoho Contracts helps mitigate contract risks. While some of the features that I covered until now, such as the approval workflows and contract templates, do mitigate contract risks, one of the main causes of contract risks are unfulfilled obligations. In Zoho Contracts, we have a contextual obligation module within each contract, where you can track and manage the contract obligations. You can create both task and non-task obligations. 
In a contract for software development, a task obligation would be the developer's responsibility to deliver a functioning mobile application according to the client's specifications. On the other hand, a non-task obligation within the same contract could be the developer's commitment to uphold the confidentiality of any proprietary information shared by the client. Contract owners can assign the obligations to the respective business owners and remind them all within the contract record. Obligation owners can view their pending obligations in the activities module and can update their status. Before completing the demo, I'll quickly touch upon how Zoho Contracts helps you improve governance. Administrators can leverage the analytics in Zoho Contracts to derive valuable insights from contract data. There are around 35 plus built-in reports in Zoho Contracts covering different aspects of contract management. There are general reports that provide information such as contracts by status and contract type. There are activity or milestone based reports, such as contracts pending for approval and negotiation. Performance reports on executed contracts provide special insights, such as average negotiation cycles. These reports empower you to revisit your contract processes and negotiation strategies. Clause based reports come in very handy when you have to make organisation wide policy changes. With the help of these reports, you can quickly do an impact study. As you can see, there are also other reports based on obligations, counterparty and users. The personalised dashboard provides a high-level overview of how your contracts are performing. There are special widgets that give you the total contract value of upcoming and signed contracts. Zoho Contracts automatically calculates the gain or loss of terminated contracts if you provide the financial details at the time of termination. Plan your months better with a monthly calendar that displays your contract schedules and reminders. With the help of in-app and email alerts, you will never miss any contract milestones or renewal opportunities. All the configuration settings for the Zoho contracts are available in the admin panel. You can manage your users from here. The clause library contains all the clauses in the predefined contract templates. You can also create custom clauses or customise the existing ones. The clause library simplifies the process of creating contract templates and also enables reusability and scalability. Contract type is one of the fundamental configurations in Zoho contracts. This is where you build templates for contracts and define their primary attributes. Letter templates automatically capture changes made to the contract, reducing manual effort. This feature streamlines contract management, allowing teams to focus on more productive tasks. You can also customise these letter templates based on your organisation's needs. You can also configure the approval workflows and choice lists from the admin panel. Activity tracking in Zoho contracts is available at three levels. First is at the user level. You can view all the activities performed by the user in chronological order. Second is at the individual contract level. All the activities performed in a contract will be displayed in chronological order. Third, there are access audits and download logs. These features provide better visibility and control and ensure that you stay on top of what is happening within the admin panel. With that, we have come to the end of this demo. Hope this gave you a clear overview of how the contract lifecycles flow looks in Zoho Contracts and how it can transform your legal operations. For any questions, you can reach us at support at zohocontracts.com. Thank you for your time.